Hi there, I've been asked to do a little refresher course on the recording on this uh, Yamaha MT120 4-track uh, recorder. So let's go. Um, basic uh, settings, we got meter on a 40R so that uh, we can monitor the levels on each track on this uh, LED uh, panel. We got zero stop on on so that when we rewind it will stop uh, automatically at uh, the, the zero point. DBX is on uh, on so to minimize uh, noise eq is off because uh, we don't uh, need it tape speed is at 9.5 faster speed uh, better quality and pitch zero no, uh, no adjustment uh, necessary now one uh, very important thing to understand is that uh, just because you plug uh, a source let's say an instrument on the channel one doesn't mean that you will record on uh, track one uh, let me explain on each channel of this uh, mixer, you have to choose between a mic line or tape. So, on this uh, first uh, channel, if we put to a mic line, you can uh, plug on the line input any instrument or you can set the sensitivity to a mic and uh, plug like a dynamic microphone like uh, this one. Or you can set it up to tape so that whatever was uh, previously recorded on this uh, track one will be played back on uh, channel one. So let's assume we want to record instrument on uh, track one. First, what we have to do is set to mic line, set to line, plug our instrument, set the recording levels. At the recording stage, we have uh, two settings. We have one and we have L, R, L, R, one, two, three, four. If I'm pushing this to one, track one will record whatever signal is uh, affected to channel one. Now, if I set this to L, track one will record whatever signal on any channel is panned to left. There are two uses uh, to this. Let's say you want uh, to record on uh, track four and you want to record not only uh, an instrument plugged on track 4 but you also want to record on track 4 an instrument plugged on track 3 and one on track 2. So what you need to do is set each one of your source. So let's say you will get uh, three instruments. Track 4 set to R and each channel uh, panned to right so that what will be recorded on the track 4 is a mix on whatever you've plugged on this uh, 2, 3, 4 channel uh, tracks on the mixer. If I were to put this to 4, then uh, track 4 would only record whatever is on uh, channel 4. Let's assume that uh, you don't want to record uh, an instrument on uh, track 4, but you want to record uh, whatever was uh, previously recorded on track 1, 2 and 3. This is called a ping pong uh, recording and I've got a video on this. If I put this on R, then uh, whatever is panned right would be recording on track 4. So if uh, channel 1, 2 and 3 are to tape, then whatever was put to tape uh, previously on uh, 1, 2, 3 will be recorded on uh, track 4. So I can mix down uh, this 3 to uh, this one. Now let's uh, add a tape. Very uh, easy to uh, record uh, anything. First, let's press uh, rec. So now it's on uh, pause and I, it's uh, blinking. I'm choosing, let's say, to record on track four, the uh, channel four and four, four, okay. Let's assume it's a mix line, I got something there. Now, when I press uh, play, the uh, record will start. So, these are the basics of uh, recording on this uh, multi track. You can check out my other videos to uh, know more about uh, the uh, aux uh, send effect part or uh, anything else. And uh, I will resume my uh, EP recording. See you.